Uh, we got some breaking news we want to bring you right now. The Commission on Presidential Debates just announcing that the next debate is going to be virtual. It's going to be in the form of a town hall meeting, and the candidates will participate from separate remote locations scheduled for October 15th. So, you know, we've talked about the, the idea of a mute button before. Uh, a mute button, uh, maybe we, we've had problems, you know, just uh, crisscrossing yeah. this way. Yeah. I can't imagine what, we do what that's going to be like to remotely, it. but. We managed to do it. Hopefully, they won't have a delay, God, I, that, that, that we deal with. But we managed, uh, we managed to do it uh, every day. Becky, are you going to be just, uh, there in between those two? That might help. Uh, that might help, too, if you're, if you're <laughs> no, like, like exactly. Just, it, I, my question would be, have both campaigns already signed off on this? Because obviously, yeah. the campaigns have to agree to what, what happens with the debate laws that, that get handed down, too. But you almost wonder if there's a, a, a need for a much different sort of deb debate style. If, if you want the questions answered, if you want to make sure people keep to the time cues, I don't know how you do that or really yeah. keep control of any of this stuff. Or if you I, just say, forget it, let's just have an honest conversation and, and do it that way. But it, it, it does feel like these debates have gotten older and clunkier and, and, and don't necessarily fit with what viewers want at this point, with what voters want to see. Yeah. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.